As the Chinook School Division moves forward on its plans to build a new K-8 school in the city's north end, a number of public consultation meetings are scheduled as part of the overall process. The first of two meetings to discuss potential new grade configurations in Swift Current for Chinook was held on Tuesday night. Concerned parents and other residents gathered at the Fairview Gym to hear presentations by Chinook School Division representatives and later participate in a group discussion on the different scenarios outlined for grade configurations in the new school, along with those in Fairview, Irwin, Central and Ashley Park. Public input, which is essential in helping the board with its final decisions set for later this fall. There will be a lot of data coming back in and we'll be taking the, the summer to get that into some sort of uh, sensible form. Our plan is to post it on our portal so people can see it and it will certainly help uh, inform our board as we move forward. Uh, second phase will be SECs going directly out into their school communities and getting survey data as well. The new structure for the grades within the Chinook School Division here in the city will require some adjustments to their overall infrastructure. From the addition of washrooms to change rooms in the gym, all coming at an added cost and will all be taken under consideration. Secretary Treasurer Rod Quinton indicates the scenarios and possible student numbers per school have all been identified through the following formula. We have a program uh, that we call, uh, it's called De a Berger Demographics and what that does is identify students by their home address and when I use the uh, program to draw boundaries around certain parts of the geographic areas of the city it would then capture those students within those geographic areas and provide me with a report on the numbers by age and by grade. And as the consultations continue and the architectural plans fall into place for the new school set to replace Omen on the city's south side, one question which comes to mind is the future of the current staff at Omen. Every year uh, we go through staffing scenarios and we make sure that uh, people are staffed and I am very proud to say that in light of declining enrollments in Chinook as a whole, even though Swift Current has been growing, uh, we have only had one staff uh, teaching redundancy in the five years that Chinook has been in place. So there, when, when we are this large an organization, there is always a place. And as our projections show, our student enrollments will grow here in the city, so there will be jobs for all of our people. The next public consultation discussing grade configurations is scheduled for June 13th at Ashley Park School. Then on June 20th, a special meeting again hosted by Chinook will include a presentation by the architect on the overall design of the new school set for construction near the Cypress Regional Hospital. The last time a new public school was constructed in Swift Current was in 1969. And if all goes according to plan, the target goal of opening the new combined school facility between the Chinook and Holy Trinity School Divisions set for the fall of 2013.